Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden and welcome back to my cut flower garden. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. It's early May right now and this is my mostly my winter uh, spring succession of flowers. So I am planning, I have a 10 by 20 foot cut flower garden just off to the side of my driveway. I'm sitting on my driveway right now. And my goal for this year was to try and fit as many different varieties of flowers into this small space as I can. So this whole succession or round of flowers is uh, via the cool flower method from Lisa Mason Ziegler. I'll link her book down below. It was a game changer. So all of these flowers I actually sowed in the fall and I planted the seedlings out about six weeks before my first frost date. So they have been sitting here for a couple months now. When it was cold, they weren't growing. You couldn't see any leaf growth. And it's, you know, you kind of look at it and you think, what is wrong? What's going on? What's going on is that there's a ton of root growth underneath the ground. So when it does get warm, they pop up, they bloom, they go crazy, and they're nice and strong and robust and beautiful. So I absolutely love the cool flower method and I totally encourage you guys to look it up. Um, she also has a YouTube channel as well and it's so informative and it's just a total game changer for cut flower gardening, I think. So um, I am planning on switching over this, uh, this winter fall succession, or excuse me, winter spring succession <laughs> to do my spring summer succession. And I've already put in a couple plants in a couple seedlings in between the flowers that I have out here. So everything's kind of mashed together at this point um, with the goal of continuing to uh, enjoy these blooms while the seedlings are growing for my summer succession. I will link my Google Sheets down below with everything that I'm planning on, on planting in my cut flower garden, when I'm transplanting it, when I'm going to pull it, all that kind of stuff. Now, of course, it's not exact. It's nature. So you can't say, okay, exactly on May 4th, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to plant this or I'm going to pull this or this is going to be blooming. And I'm finding that out as the year goes on. One of the main things that I'm finding out is I'm feeling very compressed for time with three successions throughout my year. Um, I wish I had another month or two with my winter succession, um, just so I can enjoy the blooms and really let them bloom out totally. But I should be planting the next round so that I can enjoy summer blooms. Um, so that's the one thing that, you know, I'm just kind of playing with it. I'm having fun with it and just seeing how things work in my climate. I'm in zone 9B. Um, and, and, you know, of course, the different varieties that you choose changes it as well. But that's the part, that's the fun of it, just to see what you can do and what you can get to bloom, what does really well. Back here, you can see I have sweet peas and they are going crazy right now absolutely crazy they're beautiful and they smell so well so good last year when i planted sweet peas i sowed them in the spring like early spring but they didn't grow enough before it got too hot and i maybe i got two or three blooms and that was it um so planting you know just just playing with it if i had given up on sweet peas i would have never enjoyed the massive amounts of sweet peas that i have this year and i did that via the cool flower method so I wanna encourage you guys to play with it. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't work out the first year um, and just see kind of what works for you. So I really wanna work on um, harvesting all these flowers and using them before I have to take them out. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a free bouquet day again. We did that last year where we cut all the flowers, made little bouquets, and then my girls sat in the front yard and handed them out um, to people walking by, riding their bikes by, and riding the cars by. So I think that we're gonna do that again this weekend just so that we can utilize all these flowers. The other thing that I wanted to do is, um, well, let me back up and say, last year one of my main projects projects that I did for my cut flower garden is I made a gomfrina wreath. I used the variety QIS Purple from Johnny Seeds is where I got it. And gomfrina is fantastic because if you pick it at the right time, it will maintain its beautiful, gorgeous color. So this wreath that I made, that's the color of the dried flower. It was absolutely beautiful. And I had so much fun harvesting it throughout the year. I 
I could not harvest all of those, all of that gomfrina in one round. I would come out, you know, about every day, every couple days, and I would harvest a couple bunches of it, and then I would hang it upside down in my garage. And I loved it. I loved working on it, and I'm really proud of that wreath, especially because it basically took me all year to make. And I really wanted to do another project like that for this year, for this round. So what I was planning on doing, I really love the look of pressed flowers. I've never done pressed flowers before, um, but I was at a garden center and I saw the glass um, glass frames that you put pressed flowers in and I thought wouldn't that be gorgeous if I had four of those for the four seasons of my cut flower garden so that's my plan that's my project for this year I'm gonna do a four season pressed flower arrangement wall hanging and I'm planning to hang it by my front door and I think that that will be so gorgeous and something I can leave up all year long and so that's that's my aim for this year. So the reason why I wanted to get this video out ASAP is because I found this at Target. So I found it at Target online. It's from the Hearth and Hand brand, um, the Magnolia brand, Magnolia Home, Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, the Joanna Gaines. It was only $14 which I thought was fantastic. I just checked this morning before I started filming. It's still in stock and it's actually on sale right now for $12, which is fantastic. So super accessible. I will also link a couple other flower presses from Amazon. And then also you can always use just a heavy book and press it in between the pages of the book. So I'm really excited. So what my plan is for today is I am going to harvest some of my spring flowers for my Four Seasons Pressed Flowers project. Um, so yeah, so let's go. Beautiful. Very excited about that. Okay, so let me open this flower press. Here's the instructions. So you want to have the cardboard, absorbent white paper, flowers, absorbent white paper, and cardboard. And then you continue with your lasagna layers for that. So I'm just going to go through and I am going to make all my layers. Let's see how many I can do. So these are afternoon white cosmos. I love these. I grew them last year and then I had to grow them again this year. So this is part of my bonus planting. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it face down. And then I do want some greenery, so I'm gonna take off the leaves from these Cosmos because I think they're pretty. All right, there we go. Okay, let's do the sweet peas. So I definitely want sweet peas in this arrangement. Isn't that pretty? I think I'll do a profile for that one. Just like that. And then here's some, can you guys see that? No. Purple Bacopa. See that? Pretty. So another flower that reminds me of spring. So 
So I'm planning to do way more than I actually need, just in case some of them don't turn out very well. Kind of get one chance on this because this takes about two weeks to dry, and so I won't be able to really check it for two weeks. Um, and so I feel like all the flowers will be done by then and I don't want to miss out on any of them. So I'm just going to try and pack this as tight as I can. Okay, I think that one's good. Take another white sheet, put it right on top. Another piece of cardboard. Kind of smash it down. Okay, layer number two. Here's some sweet pea greenery. I love this because I love the little curly cues at the end. Ugh, so pretty. I want that one. Let's see, and then here's some jasmine, star jasmine. Have to have that in a spring one, right? Okay. Oh, I hope this works. It will be so pretty if it does. So I did want to do some um, sparkling amethyst superbina, just because I love it and it's so beautiful. But you can see how thick, you know, thick it is. I don't think that that will press very well. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off each individual um, flower and then rearrange them in kind of a circular pattern once they're dry. I think that will be really pretty. Okay. Okay. Now we have some Larkspur, isn't that gorgeous? So same thing, I'm gonna cut off the individual blooms and then rearrange it. And then I want the Larkspur greenery as well. I'm gonna do some of these face down and some of them profile, I think. I think that'll be pretty. And then for the Larkspur, I also got buds. I think that will be really pretty in profile. There we go, there's that one. White paper and cardboard. Okay, I think this is the last one I have. Let me know in the comments section if you guys have ever done this in between a book. I would love to do that because I have extra white papers. Bet you it's very similar. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just gonna store these in here. Put the top on. And then screw the nuts. Nuts? Wings. I don't know, <laughs> something.
All right, I am all done with this fun little project. I'm gonna go shove it in a closet somewhere and let it sit for about two to three weeks so the flowers can press and they can dry, and then I'll open it up and see how it does. I really hope that they dry well um, because I really wanna do this project. I'm totally inspired, and I would love to have the Four Seasons hanging right by my front door. I think that that would be absolutely gorgeous and so perfect for my garden of flowers. So I found the glass pressed flower frames at a garden center up in Reading where my mom lives. And I'm gonna look online and see if I can find one online that I can link for you guys. So if you guys wanna do this project with me, we can kind of do it all year long um, and get all four seasons. Um, uh, if not, I might just call my mom and tell her to go buy them <laughs> really quick for me. So I'll see what I can find online and I'll link whatever I can uh, in the, the description down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please consider subscribing and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.